In this video, we are going to take a look into Axelor Studio platform. Axelor Studio is a low-code platform that helps you to quickly create forms and applications using simple drag and drop functionality. And uh, it is a very cost-effective as well as a resource-effective solution that you can use. And it is completely integrated within the Axelor OpenSuite. To access the Axelor Studio platform, you will have to go into the app application and within the app application you have the studio menu when we click on the studio menu simple platform is available where you can create and design your own forms with simple drag and drop functionalities available on the left hand side panel as you can see that there are various data types as well as different kind of tools available uh, for all the different fields that you would want to have in your forms and on the right hand side panel, you will have the properties and attributes that you want to associate with this particular fields. So for this video, I'm just going to take a look into an existing model that I have created, but you can always create new models and uh, simply use it and edit it whenever required. So this is a simple application that I have designed for internal procure requests or purchase requests in a lot of organization in various departments. It is evident and also very critical that different project managers and floor managers are able to put up internal purchase requests, whether it is for any kind of services or products. So for that particular requirement, I have created a small form application, which the user will be able to use whenever any such requirement is there to fulfill. So in this particular form, there are three different panels that I've created and within the each panel, I have created a simple drag and drop functionalities from the left hand side panel. So these are related to the data types. And then once the field is dropped here on the form, I can associate various kinds of functionalities to it. If we take a look into the different functionalities available on the left hand side panel. So you have your data types available here, which are strings, integer, decimal, Boolean as well. And then you also have the relationship type available here. So many to one, one to many and many to many. These relationship type helps you to also um, create information from existing applications. So if in case you want to fetch any particular field from the existing menu or field so it's always important to use the relationship type whenever we drag and drop any of the field from the left hand side panel then we can associate the properties in the right hand side one so let's take a look into what all properties you can associate in here so right from creating or uh, providing a title you can also provide to which particular widget it is related to and any particular action which is required on change of this particular field since it is this particular field is a relationship type here so in that case you will also have to select the target model and then all the other ui options so whether you want to make this particular field required visible in grid and other ones similar to read only or hidden you can also put up various kind of conditions whether this field is only available to certain users or it should be shown if a particular condition is met, uh, so suppose if beneficiary field equal to equal to one, so in that case only show this particular field, otherwise keep it hidden for most of the users. Then you can also use the roles field. This helps you to assign access rights and permission for each user. So you can do this not only for the whole application, but you can also do it for each individual field here also. So in this particular application, I have used various type of fields as were required to design this particular application. Then on the, this particular side panel, I have also two buttons here. These buttons are just going to help the user to navigate the uh, application status. So this is my status and uh, just taking a look into what particular fields I have created in the status. So you can create your own fields and at any point of time, you can also change the name of it. So once you create your different fields and you save it, the system will automatically create it and create a selection menu to it. 
So save it and let's see how this particular application will look to the particular user. So this particular application that I have designed, I can access under the my procurement request and we have a menu called request. So the form that we had designed will actually look like this to the user and the user will be able to select the particular request type. This test field is just uh, for testing field and then the request number. This is an automatic field which is going to create a sequence for each record that is created. The requested file. So as you can see, this is a relationship type field and I can select the particular person or user who's actually requesting it. Then in the product form, I can select my supplier. I can also select my product. And once all these information are fulfilled, I can simply click on next. So that will uh, move it to the next status and uh, so on. Now the second mode is the view mode. This mode helps you to manage certain parameters of existing application. So suppose if you want to manage or you want to edit few fields on the CRM application. So let's first take a look into the lead form. So if in case you want to change the title of any of the fields or you want to add more fields. So in that case, you can go to the studio panel again, select the view mode, select your particular model. So in our case, it's a lead. Then you can select your lead form and the whole form will appear in the studio panel itself. And now you will be able to modify or provide a different title to the field. If in case you want to add more fields, so you can select ATTRS panel and the system will provide you additional space to create any type of tabs, panels, any kind of relationship type fields or even default string fields. So these fields, when you are actually going to create here, so it is automatically going to be applied and available on the lead form. So just refresh your instance and it should actually appear on the lead form itself also. So as you can see, now there are two fields. One is the comment, which is of HTML type and the test field, which we just created. So similarly, you can design your own applications and use to adapt it according to your requirements. So that's all for this video. If in case you are interested in knowing more, do not hesitate to contact at Axolot. Thank you.